So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to episode 6 of Trade and Upgrade. So you didn't get a episode I guess two days ago and that's because I didn't play FIFA. Um... Whatever. I basically took a day off just to, uh, to chill as such. But we're back now with daily episodes. And you can see that the account is flourishing. We're on 164k, which I'm pretty sure is the highest this account has been liquid. Uh, and that has been, I mean, partly because of all the odd bonus that we went and bought for 1.6. We went and sold for 2k. Just, you know, lazy buyers or whatever. Now, it kind of sucks that I didn't play FIFA yesterday and invest yesterday. Because I probably would have gone very heavily in 83s due to how cheap they were. And then they only went a bang for the SBC. But it doesn't matter, because in the end of the day, the account isn't exactly, uh, you know, deprived of coins. So we've got 164k, which means, and we've got quite a nice little marker right now. So I think what we'd be doing today is a bit of special card trading, because special cards theoretically can be quite low today and do nothing but rise, which means if I do end up messing up and misbuying anything, I can basically just hold on to it and it'll just rise throughout the course of the week. So how special card trading works? Obviously, well, I'm going to set the timer because I'm not going to buy anything right now, but uh, we'll show you. You basically go special shadow. You put a minimum bid of 9.5k, a maximum bid of 11k, and a minimum buy now of 10 to 50. And what you got to do is you got to get rid of every single card apart from one card over an hour. So if I go and search this right now, let's go and see how many cards are over an hour. And I'll talk to you guys a few of the strategies, strategies of how you get rid of the cards over an hour. So again, you're going to sell for 9.5k minim minimum bid, 11k maximum bid, 10 to 50 minimum buy now. So again, we're getting close to the fifth ninth minute right now, and let's have a little look then. Okay, so there seems to be quite a few players over the fifth ninth minute. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a lot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, because there's so many players, is I'm probably going to go and lower the maximum bid here to 10, uh, sorry, to 10,750. Increase the minimum by now here to 12. Really, you just increase the minimum buy now to get rid of a bunch of cards, and you decrease the maximum bid to get rid of a bunch of cards. You don't really want the maximum bid being anything lower than 10 to 1050, though. So uh, in that case, you just want to increase the minimum buy now. So now we've got these kind of like revised search filters just to get rid of a bunch of cards. Let's see how many cards are over an hour. We still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so let's have a little look at, uh, at what we can do here then. So, ideally, all I want to do right now is increase the maximum bin to get rid of every single card. Although, I can still use a mix, man, uh, mi a ma a mix of, sorry, increasing the minimum by now and decreasing the maximum bid. So, if I increase the mi minimum by now, I'll get rid of, to 1650, I'll get rid of that card. I'll get rid of that card. I'll get rid of that card. So, I'll get rid of three cards by increasing the maximum minimum by now to 1650. And if I go and decrease the maximum bid to, I think, 1050, I might get rid of the rest. So... We're going to increase the minimum buy now here to 6... Was it 650? I can't remember. 6250, I think it was. So, basically what you want to do is just get rid of all the cards, if not all but one over an hour. So let's scroll to the fifth ninth minute right now and see how we got rid of all the cards, if not all but one. Because this filter works if you have uh, only one card, any more than one, and it won't work. So now we still have two cards over an hour. Okay, if we increase it to 650, we'll get rid of them. And now we only have one card over an hour, so the filter is working. Now, how do you now use this filter? Well, what you've got to do is use a mechanic which is only available to do on console called compare price back out. So what this is, is you press compare price and then you back out. And what you'll see is it'll throw new cards on the market. This Taria has just been listed and we've been able to see it instantly because we're refreshing the market in the fifth and ninth minute. These new cards have been listed. And what basically the idea is I'll pre-know how much these cards go for. So maybe I know that Taria goes to 80k and then he pops up at 70 and I go, oh, I know it goes to 80k, let me go and buy that. Or not, if you're not, you basically have to just learn the market. Uh, so maybe I'll go and type Terraria in, or maybe I will go and type Terraria in. And then I'll go, alright, how much has Terraria been as of recently? It's been about 70k recently, so me buying him for 69, I'm not going to go and buy him at 69. Maybe he pops out at 59, well then I'll go and buy him, because I know he sells at 69. And the idea is you do this for loads and loads and loads of players. Um, so I know Andre goes at 47, uh, and, and so on and so on. And basically what I do is I just sit on this 5th ninth minute, then if a good special card, you know, if a special card pops up that I know is a deal, I'll go and buy it. Um, and if not, I just keep pressing compare for us back out. But that's the thing. There's also another thing you can go and do to this. So you saw me increase the minimum buy now there to uh, get rid of one of the Taverners. An alternative is what I could do is just bid 11250 on Taverner. Because if I go and bid 11250 on him, even though he goes for like 16, 15, 16k, but he ends in a few hours, I get rid of him on the filter. 
because of course if he's if I bid ten or eleven and fifty and I have the maximum bid of eleven, he won't pop under that because his bid is now higher than eleven. So, but I don't think I can get away with that. But uh, yeah, that's basically the plan, and I'll show you guys when we do manage to get ourselves some special deals. Yes, I understand setting this filter up is extremely awkward. Uh, I've I've explained this like four, five, six times on YouTube, and every time I'm just I just always end it and I go. I just didn't make, I didn't make that much sense. If you are that confused, just come over to my stream and I'll, uh, I'll walk you through how to do it. So we got our first deal, and one of the weirdest and easiest things to pick up are old informs that are very rare. And Pablo is a perfect example of this. So if I can show you this right here, Pablo actually is a Team of the Week 11 player, right? And as a result of him being a Team of the Week 11 player, it means that obviously he's not been in packs for the best part of six weeks. So he's not been in packs for, what, six, seven, so... 42 days. And as a result, not being in packs for 42 days, but being used in SVCs for 42 days, his supply just dwindles and dwindles and dwindles. And as a result, it becomes rarer and rarer and rarer. And as you guys know, when stuff is rare, it's expensive. So I basically went and compared him and saw the first bid was 20k. So I kind of went off the presumption where if he's bidding 20k and I'm, this is 5k cheaper, I'm probably not looking bad, especially as it's got a shadow on. Uh, and again, after a little bit of research, he really isn't looking like too bad of a card. Now, it says it's only 1750 here, but let's see what his fluctuations are like. So, yeah, fluctuation, around about 19k right there. We look at yesterday's, and we're, we're saying about 19k. And because he's SBC fodder, I don't have to worry about him crashing. You know, this card doesn't crash when there is, um, what's it called? When there's a increase in, you know, I, I guess, increase in people selling their teams and stuff. Because he's not in people's teams, he's in basically SBC solutions. So we've got to pick him up right here for 19k, uh, sorry, for 15k. I'll probably go and flip him up for 19k, which isn't bad. That's a 4k difference with a sub 1k tax. So it's going to be about a 3.2k profit after tax. We're looking for deals on this method. You're mainly looking for a 10% uh, cheaper than what they normally sell for. And then you take 5% of that goes to tax and 5% profit. For example, if I knew he goes to 20k, I'd go 10% cheaper, which is 2k. 2k minus from the 20 is 18. So that's a 2k difference. And obviously I get 1k profit. 1k profit is 5% of 20. So 20k. But uh, there we go. The first deal not looking too bad. And that's how you get a lot of deals with that. You get so many deals on old SBC fodder. Like it's just being listed up without people knowing the uh, the new price to it as such. But uh, yeah, not too bad. It took us about five minutes to get a deal. Was, you know, the, you, you probably get a deal every few minutes. Uh, the better you know the market, the faster you get deals. Because theoretically, there could have been about 20 or 30 deals popping up. But because I'm not familiar with the special card market, or not, well, I'm relatively familiar with it, uh, I'm going to miss deals because I'm going to see stuff go, ah, it's probably not a deal, leave it, even though there could be 5, 10k on it. So, I mean, I'd be lying to you if I said I knew that Pablo was 17k, I probably would have looked at him and go, it's probably a 12k in form, which is why I take a little look at them, look, I have a little look what the others are going for, and then I saw, oh, someone's bidding 20. It's probably about that. A little bit of a risky play, but, you know, buying a 17k in form, what's the worst that's going to happen? So, we got our second deal, and that is, uh, well, about four minutes later. That is our second in form, Cooper Mares for uh, 14. We're actually going to be able to get 16750 for him, so obviously that's a 2.7k difference. With tanks about 800 coins, I'll be honest with you, that's just a 2k profit right there, so not too bad. Uh, obviously, it's nothing too crazy, but I haven't really been special card trading recently, so uh, I've been a little bit off it in terms of uh, knowing the prices, so you know, I might be missing deals left, right, and center. But it's okay because the thing with this is uh, a lot of the time people do this for an hour and they'll go, oh, this method sucks. But what you've got to understand is if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to trade with Lamborghinis and Ferraris, right? And there was a Ferrari that was put on the market for 50 grand, right? And this Ferrari sold at 5 million. But if I'm new to trading with Ferraris, I'm not going to know that's a 5 million coin Ferrari, pound Ferrari. So what you've got to understand is like learning anything, like learning any market. You're not, you know, someone's not born knowing the prices of all of the Ferraris. You've got to learn eventually the prices of Ferraris and Lamborghinis to be able to spot these good deals. So that's, you know, that's the thing is you don't, you wouldn't, you know, jump straight into car trading or trading with anything and expect to know all the expensive stuff because that's just not how it works. You learn over time, which is why, you know, experience comes into these sort of things with markets so much because, you know, people can learn the markets, they can learn all these prices and so on and so on. So that's why I say this is don't, don't, you know, rule this out after a day or after an hour or after two hours because you're not going to start off being amazing because you've got to learn. And what, but once you've learned, you know, you can imagine you're now the guy who knows, whereas there's so many people who don't know. And you can snap up all these deals that the, you know, like, the people like yourself when you first start couldn't get. But, yeah, not bad. Um, but, yeah, she's going to keep on trading. All right, we got ourselves a, another deal. And that is a Florenzi. Got him at 18. Going to flip him at 21. That's a 3k difference of 1k tax and a 2k profit. So, yeah, not bad. Not amazing. But, uh, again, we're only getting, you know, we're only learning more and more on the market. So, it's, uh, you know, not looking too bad. But, on to the next deal. 
So we got two more deals. I'm not too sure how much of a deal they are. It's because I've just kind of gone off of, uh, I guess, I don't know, slight hunches. Hint going very sure we saw earlier at 32k when comparing his price. Yep, indeed he was. And there you go. So previously, if this if this hint girl got listed in the market, I wouldn't have known it goes to 32k. But because uh, I looked at it previously, I then know it goes to 32k. That's a 3k difference, a 1.6k tax and a 1.4k profit. Nothing massive, but it took, you know, next to no time to get the deal. It's also got a shadow on. I probably should uh, should add that into the equation, but whatever. Then we've got an Acerbi uh, going for 15k. Acerbi is currently going for... Ooh. Although I imagine he fluctuates because he's SBC fodder. Yeah, probably get up to about 17k on him in all fairness. So not too bad again. Going to be another 1k profit on that. And I imagine the hint is pretty sold on instantly, hasn't it? Just realised, I listed for the cheapest on the market, plus he's got a shadow. No? Okay. Well, we'll spend the other uh, 70k, or we'll get down to about 20k, and then we'll do some silver trading. Just because you can't really utilise this filter if you only have 20k, so, yeah. Whenever we're under 50, we'll do a bit of silver trading. So, we're five minutes later, and we've already got three more deals. Picked up a Grimaldo for 30, a Konate for 19, and an Ake for 15. So, let's start off with a Grimaldo. Uh, Grimaldo is another case of me checking their price earlier, remembering what price I checked him for, and then bought him. He's going for about 36k, if I'm not wrong. I mean, let's have a little look at what the daily average has been. We've even seen ups of 37. Uh, although I'll take the 36, we can sell him faster. That's obviously 30k buy, 36k sell. Uh, that's a difference of 6k with a tax of 1.8k. So that's going to be a 4.2k profit. Not too bad. All right, moving on to the Ake next. I saw him for 15. I'm pretty sure Ake is going to be going for about 20 normally. Uh, I haven't checked his price for a little bit, though. Yep, not bad. I think we'll get about 20 off that. Ooh, might be ambitious. We'll go for a 19.5. Oh, he's got a shadow. We'll go for 20 off that. That's going to be a 4k profit after tax. Once again, a nice buy. And Kanate is, once again, another case of me uh, checking the prices earlier, learning what they're going for earlier, and now being able to apply that knowledge when buying this one. And again, you're, you're going to see this happen a lot when you trade with them, if you guys do end up trading with them. You literally, you miss the first time there's a deal on them. You learn their price, and you buy them the second time there's a deal on them. And again, we're going to go and flip them for 21k. We'll go 21.50, and that'll be a 1k profit after tax. So nothing too crazy on that. But, um, yeah, uh, we've also managed to go and sell that hint to go again. I was quite surprised I didn't sell him faster because he literally was the cheapest on the market. But our, um, yeah, our deals aren't looking too bad. We've got 40k. I'll be honest with you, I'll still try and push out uh, another, um, I'll still try and push out another special card trading, sorry, special card deal before we go and do some silver trading. So we've had both a few sales and a few buys. So there's three deals we've got. I can definitely tell we've had at least one or two sales. Three sales, that being the Grimaldo at 36. Obviously bought that at 30. That's not Bonnet. And the Hawk Chems are beautiful. Uh, but yeah, we've gone and got ourselves a few buys, so let's go and uh, show you guys what we bought. Because we're only sitting on 18 as well, we'll crack them the way some silver trading after. So we got ourselves a uh, Hakimi at 33k right here. I'd want to say Hakimi's 37, although at the same time, this one might be... Oh yeah, I think we should be getting about 37. Can we get a 37? Let's have a look at it. Got 35s. 35. Yeah, probably going to get a 35 relatively break even. Well, 35 is going to be just sub-break even. It happens, you know, it's, it's part of learning the market in all fairness. We've got an Amiibi here for 12.50. Uh, again, I'd be surprised if Amiibi is much less than 15k. What can you sell them for? 14 fluctuations. Again, we do have a shadow on ours. I think we should be able to get 15. I mean, I'd say he's been up here at, you know, just low 14. So with his shadow, we should be able to get 15. Uh, obviously, that'll be a 2.5k difference with a 1.7k tax. Sorry, with a 750 coin tax, means a 1,250. Basically, 1.2, 1.3k profit after tax. And finally, got ourselves a Sansone here at 15. I believe Sansone's about 18k, if I'm not wrong. 18? Yeah. About 18k right here. So, just again, have a little look at these fluctuations. I'll probably be able to get 18.50 with him having Shadow, uh, which is a 3.5k difference with a 900 coin tax and a 2.5k profit after tax. So, not too bad. Obviously, a break even is not exactly what you want to get, but, uh, you know, it does happen. Especially when learning the prices. But what we are going to do right now, because again, it's not very, you know, I barely would recommend this method if you've got a few hundred K, let alone 18K. We're just going to get underway with some ye old Serie A uh, basic. I might even do Lee Gun, because I, I was having a look at the market earlier, and Lee Gun's even quite expensive. But um, yeah, a bit of classic Serie A. And uh, I mean, all the silvers are quite expensive right now, because lots of people are doing League SBC. So it should be nice and efficient. So we got loads of silver league gun deals, because I'll be honest with you, no one sits on the silver filter. Because the silvers from the league gun have barely been worth anything as of recently, uh, I doubt a lot of people have been trading with them. But it, it means if I do want to trade with them, I'm not really having much com you know, competition. But uh, let me go and show you guys just a few buys we've got. So we've got this guy right here at uh, 500, we'll be able to sell him for about well, probably 900. It's only obviously small profits, we've got 20k, so we don't have you know the crazy amount of coins to work. We've got this guy at 550, I think we'll be able to, uh, it's a bit naff, 700. 
Which ones do I think we should be uh, pretty decent? This guy should be decent. Got a 550, going at about 900. Obviously, as always, you don't have to sell for the cheapest on the market. You can sell for like the second or third cheapest. Got this guy for nine for 550. Sells at about 1k. So you can see it's you know it's only small profits, but you know it's a very very uncompetitive field. You know, we've got a lot a lot of deals under here, and yeah, there you go. Got another one here. Got him at 500, flipping for one two. If I'm not wrong, I think I bought another one of him. There you go, got another one of them at 450, flipped at 1.2. So I think we got all these deals in about 10 minutes as well. So again, very, very small competition. Obviously, some of these cards are maybe a bit of a whiff in terms of, you know, I've kind of uh, misbought them. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, not looking too bad whatsoever. Uh, and I'll probably just stick on this filter because, again, it's not very competitive. I even got a few of these deals at 200 coins. Where the one? There you go, I got this guy for 200 coins. Just because there is generally no one sitting on this filter whatsoever. So I'll be able to flip that for a K. So. Small profits, but uh, whilst we're waiting for the uh, specials to sell on, I think it's a pretty decent, you know, meantime sort of trading method. So we managed to, well, I think we spent about 20 minutes, we've got about 40 deals. So let's go and show you guys some of the highlights of that. Highlight being uh, the 500 coin profit on Gabriel Silver, but there we go. Go this guy at 550, I think we should be able to push a K for him, so that's not bad whatsoever. But you get the idea, I just bought loads and loads and loads and loads of cheap silvers. Let's see if there's anyone else who's decent. we got a nice... Uh, and you got this guy at 450. What's he looking like? Only 800. Mm. Got this guy at 500. What's he looking like? Should be good. Uh, they've been expensive in the part. Yeah, there you go. Got this guy for 500. He is selling for... Uh, probably get about 1.4k for him. So not too bad. What else do we have to work with? Diop. I know he's been expensive in the past. Going for 500. Yep, get a K off of that. It's a double L coin. So very, very easy coins. Very, you know, very small coins. And I guess I could be a little bit boring. But at the same time, it's very, very easy. And whilst we're waiting for specials to sell on... Uh, it's decent. We also sold one of them Coopermere, the second form Coopermere's we got earlier for, um, what's it called? The, we got for 14k, we sold them at 16,750 in the end, so it's not bad. Got them at 500, so then 1.3, so again, some, some decent little profits on these, you know, double and then some on them. But uh, yeah, not looking too bad. There you go, we've got 8 sales, so I might be able to show the Coopermere's there. There you go, 16,750, you can see a lot of them are selling on. So we've got 7 minutes. I'll probably keep running out for the last seven minutes and then we'll get on the way of the SBCs. The SBCs we plan on doing today are going to be the... Where is it? We've got the 83 plus attacker. We'll do that today. We've got the... Might do the team year challenge, actually. One sec, we've got that team year challenge. Oh, that's a tradable pack. I'm not allowed to do tradable packs. Although we can do it to make coins, but I probably won't. We're going to do the... Uh, yeah, we'll do the team year challenge. We're going to do the 84 plus pick. And then we'll maybe go and do uh, one of the league SBCs or something like that. I think that'll be the plan. But So we've uh, gone and done the Team Year Challenge. The uh, SBC they went and dropped yesterday. Just going to use Argentina because, again, it you know kind of wants you really to use one league here. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, obviously, you're going to use uh, four rares. That's being all silvers because it just keeps it nice and cheap. And not even buying defenders when we are buying the gold because CDMs can give off a bit. Can, but there we go. Also, we found that Argentina right backs were expensive, but... Obviously, I use a lot of Mexican League players, so I could therefore utilize that and just use a Mexican League right back rather than a Argentinian one. So, 25k pack for the pack. That probably cost me about 6k to do, so let's go and see if we can get anything good on the Rector. Go. Here we go. Also got 30k. Let's go and show you guys what's going to be sold on. Uh, in the last three minutes, I'll probably do a little bit of silver trading. I think that'd be quite a nice way to end off. There you go. Sansone and a few silver selling on. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then obviously we've got the uh, SBCs post this trading. So, go on, let's get that done. Yeah, we've obviously used duplicates uh, from the club, but they're still the first owner ones. 25k pack, what do you have for me? Yeah, again, we can't use what's in this, but we can go and sell it on to obviously give us a few coins. 25k pack is going to give us only a rare gold, sadly. It's going to be Benitez. Wouldn't even be good for the series if I wanted him. Yeah, absolutely nothing interesting. We'll sell that one and get underway some silver trade to end up. And time is done. And uh, yeah, I mean, in the last two minutes, we literally managed to get loads and loads of silver deals, uh, including this guy for 500. Should be able to flip him for about 1k, maybe even 1.2. In the end of the day, we're in no mad hurry to sell these. I uh, don't think you'll see that much of a drop with score battles, but, um, but yeah, so not looking too bad. Picked up loads of this guy right here for 500. Probably get 850 a piece on that. So even though. Um, even though obviously it's no, you know, nothing insane per card. Bear in mind I got all these deals in, again, in a matter of like three minutes, you know. The, they just slowly add up, basically. But there we go. So that is that. Uh, I've had another 22 things sell on, which is pretty mad. Uh, there's a lot of golds in again, a lot of the silvers. So looking pretty decent. So what we are going to do next is we're going to get underway with that 84 player pick. 
Well, they're probably going to go and put in the David Silver. Last episode, we did go and get David Silver, and I kind of asked chat. I was like, is there really any point in keeping David Silver when I have I have slowly league of midfielders if I really do want to use them? But uh, yeah, chat said, go and throw the David Silver in. So that is what we shall do to save ourselves a little bit of money. So we've gone and done our first one. We actually didn't use David Silver because if we do use him in one of the SBCs, it makes way more sense to use him in the other one because this one is, you know, being carried by the 84 rated Ajun. So, is he Ajun? Something like that. So there is, uh, oh, Juke. So there is no real point using uh, the David Silver to get rating because they've already got rating. So what we'll do right there is go and submit it and hopefully, hopefully we can go and get ourselves something good. Let's go and see. What we get, of course, we've got that little Prem MLS number right now, but uh, obviously we've got David Silver who might come into the team soon. We've got... Who else? Not David Silver, sorry. Luis Suarez who might come into the team soon. We've got Yaziki who might come into the team soon. Uh, and a few others. So, let's see what we can get then. Let's go and store them in the club. Here we go. It's quite a big one. Obviously, this is like a 30k pack, four player picks. It's quite a few Team of the Weeks I'd quite like uh, to get. So, let's go and see what we're going to get then. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, what on earth? What on earth? <laughs> Game? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? A goalkeeper player pack? <laughs> I mean, it's sick, don't get me wrong, but what? <laughs> Just all goalkeepers? Uh, all them and uh, Nick Pope is still better. I just realised, why are they walkouts? Why do they have a white uh, background? I mean, you see that. You see the white thing just slightly surrounding them? I mean, I guess it's cool. I, I don't know. Um, I go and ask my Twitch chat right now. If, if we go Allison, because we've already got Joe Gomez, or we go Oblak. I'd imagine Allison. Just you know, it's just so we can help our boring Premier League team. But yeah, very interesting. Also, again, like it's very interesting that there's a white background around the walkout. It's quite interesting. So we are going to go for Allison in the end. I think the general consensus is that Oblak's really better. But obviously, with me having Joe Gomez. If I do really want to go and run Felipe and then go Suarez, Allison still gives him a weak link. And then we could, you know, again, even still use him. But, uh, yeah, the general consensus seems like Oblak's the better player. But Allison obviously, is going to be fitting the team a little bit nicer. So, there we go. From our goalkeeper player pick, um, we're going to go and pick Allison. So, let's go and jump into the squad right now and throw him in. Obviously, he fits in amazingly. Uh, does, you know, obviously ruin the chemistry too long. But, obviously, now he's going to be on full chem. He's going to be on full chem. To put it politely, I think Allison might have just one up on uh, Hamid. So, pretty decent. Um, you know, it doesn't really add any variety to the team as such. But, um, but yeah, there we go. What we'll do right now is we'll go and get underway with the 2x83 attacker player pick, which is kind of what I do need because, in all fairness, in all fairness I still don't have any out and out strikers um, from the Prem. We have Son, but Son's, even Son's a bit more of a cam. So, yeah, it'd be quite good to, uh, quite nice to see if we can get something good. So now we've got a generic SBC, but uh, as I said, the generic SBC is very cheap. Just a bunch of gold on rares. They're only 400 coins now, so uh, yeah, it makes it, quite nice to, uh, makes it quite nice and cheap to do. So it's going to go and give us a rare Electrum pack, and a rare Electrum pack is pretty decent because what it do is it'll give me a few, players for, um, a few players for our Silver Stars team, and it'll give us a few players for our main team, hopefully. So let's go and see what the game has got for us then. And then obviously we'll go and do the two attacker ones. So there we go. Team of the Year Challenge. It's our rare Electrum pack, EA. What are you going to give us, though? The, uh, show sure what the Silver Stars the team looks like at the moment. Basically, it doesn't look a team at the moment. If we can go to Squad Selector, and we can head over to here. Yeah, we don't really have much of a team. I mean, Brazil and, uh, the Super League has, you know, has some nice stuff for us. And even France League and, uh, I don't think it's looking too bad. I haven't put on Treadwell on. If we go Silvers. You know, we've got a few players. Nothing that we need. I, you know, I'm in no hurry to use Audi. Uh, and the football player. But, um, yeah, let's go and get that uh, rare election pack done and um, see if we can get something for either teams. In fact, actually, we've got a 75 plus pack. We might as well go and do this one first. Uh, there we go. Send him to the club. And let's see what we can get then. What are we going to get in our 75 plus pack? I swear it's a boards. It is. It's Italy. Centre back. Wait, they, this is a centre back card? No way, I, I thought all week he was a left-back card. That's a, that's a banging card. Oh, I mean, it's not really, but he's probably a bit small as well. But that's an interesting card, though. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get him in. Oh, so he's just got Allison as well. That's interesting, though. Um, obviously, a strong link to Perrin, uh, who's a player pick I got at the beginning. Oh, he is six foot. Okay. That explains why they play him at centre-back, then. 
That's cool, though. I mean, I'll take it. You know, I, I don't know how we're going to get him in the team. Serie A. We've obviously got Tonali, but... Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I guess it's an all-round card, I guess. There you go. Let's go do our rare redemption pack. See if that'd be as good. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can get him in the team. Again, we got Tonali. Um, I think we might have Sarah. That's another boards again. Let's see if we're going to get them. It's French. Striker. Oh, it's Inform Adjun. Oh, wow. EA is just throwing me the informs I could, I could have done with a second ago, to say 15k. Although, actually, I probably would have, wouldn't have put this guy in. And there we go, we get Andrew, Andrew, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we get Munier, we can link to our De Bruyne. Kappa, Kappa can link to... Oh, I, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Uh, again, Runku, he's four-star uh, skills, isn't he? Yeah, double four-star. Link to Ben Yedda when we get his inform. Uh, this guy doesn't do a crazy amount for us. And then let's see how this works for our Silver Stars. Bartlett's awful. Mankia, awful. Uh, Superliga. Double three, rubbish. Oh, there you go. Another Superliga right mid. Although we, we literally, I'm pretty sure, have a right mid from the exact same team already. So, yeah. He's fast, though. And uh, then we get ourselves a web course. So, not too bad. Uh, what we'll do right now is we'll either go and do another upgrade pack, or what we'll do is we'll go and do um, the 83 plus attacker one. So, we've gone and done yet another SBC. Very, very cheap SBC, this. Uh, in fact, the Liberty Orders, I think, in general, is a very cheap SBC. But uh, yeah, gone across the 7k for once again another rare election. Of course, half the players in that can help our Silver Stars, and half of us, half of them can go and help the uh, mainframe. Sadly, the uh, Crescito and Akeun are very, very awkward again to the team. But uh, nonetheless, they can definitely be used as subs. And if we get some more good Serie A players, I do have a, I do have an interest using that Crescito. Or if I just want to change the defence up, I can easily go and use Crescito, um, Tonali, and Ektrion. Here we go, get ourselves a Libertores player. I mean, obviously he's not going to have any use. Luckily, we can still have a walkout in that. Oh my. Oh, yes, good. Lovely. Yes, nice. I was so too bad. I was like, what the hell? Chill game. <laughs> chill, chill with these cards. But uh, Skrinja. Uh, Halla. Oh, I've kind of ruined it. It's taken away all my silvers, though. I mean, uh, maybe they're good. All right, but yeah, we can we go Skrinja. Um, Skrinja, obviously, we can link him with uh, Crescito. Um, don't have too much uh, from Inter Milan, in all fairness. Haller, I don't really have anyone to link with Haller at the moment. Um, Bakambu, cool card. Four star, three star. Cool, cool. Pearson's good when we're going to go use our English team. And a few silver goalkeepers. Lovely. Alright, so I forget that these players can actually be used, obviously, in silver stars. I forget that people might not want to use these players in silver stars. But yeah, not too bad. I'll take, uh, I'll take the screen, yeah. Not bad. Um, obviously, we can use them for a rainy day. But now what we'll do is we'll get underway. Oh yeah, we're also going to show you, by the way. We've sold on a bunch of the specials we uh, obviously got earlier with uh, the said special card trading. Uh, there we go. So, we're using the uh, untradeable uh, David Silver and, uh, yeah, a bunch of 82 rated players. Probably, probably is going to cost us 20k for this. Uh, now, we do need some decent attackers, so uh, hopefully we can get some good... Just use a mixture of La Liga and... Um, use a mixture of La Liga and Spain to go and complete it. So, let's go and see what we can go and get in our 83 plus attackers. Hopefully we can get lucky. Hopefully, you know, obviously I don't wish me to get unlucky. Uh, obviously there's a lot of fodder I can go and get. And uh, hopefully we won't be on the end of packing some of that fodder. I think we've had another sale as well. What's going to sell them? Anything interesting? We've still got about four special cards left. So I presume maybe one of them is sold on. Yeah, there you go. The Asebi we bought for 15 and another silver. So, here we go, go. Here we go. Let's go and see if we can get in our oh, two times 83 rated attackers. If I got a team year, it'd ruin it. I don't want a team year, yeah. Just don't worry about a team year. It'd ruin it. I, I don't want to play it that big, that fast. Brazil. Striker, Gabriel Jesus. Ooh, very, very nice. Very. I mean, it wasn't really worth 20k as such, but to link to our uh, KDB, that's a really good player. That is a very, very good player for the Rota Glory. Uh, it just allows us, allows us to keep running a boring Prem team, in all fairness. So let's go and see what we're going to get with him. Obviously, it'll be a max of 83 rated. It's Carlos Vela with him. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we'll do with Carlos Vela. We'll probably find some sort of maybe icon SBC to throw him into. But that is, uh, yeah, that's really good. That's kind of what we needed. Um, I think he's only a four-star skiller now. It sucks that he doesn't have that five-star skill as he used to. But as players come, Gabriel Jesus is not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how it's going to run. Because um, in all fairness, I wouldn't mind running. Uh, we'll probably even have to do this just so we can get all the boys on full cam. But uh, yeah, not bad. 
Not bad at all. We just need to work out how we want to, um, how we now want to go and run the team. But uh, yeah, some decent upgrades for the team today with Allison and two new informs we can always sub on. And now, uh, now Gabriel Jesus. So we're going to go back into the uh, Suarez. We're having a really good success rate with Suarez. I don't think I actually showed too much yesterday. But um, yeah, we managed to get four, four wins out of five games. And yeah, I mean, we're looking quite, quite good again. This is the team we're running. The only upgrade at the moment is just Allison making into the team. But yeah, let's go and jump into some online friendlies. I also probably will play a few more score battles just so we, uh, tonight, just so we can get ourselves some better rewards uh, and obviously get them uh, icon swaps. So we go into, where is it? World Beasts. There we go. And as I say, we're having a good success rate. All we got to do, make sure we get that La Liga goal. And then, um, and then yeah, then we're looking good to go and uh, obviously you know, keep getting those wins. And the first team we're playing against is a La Liga team with... Uh, actually, it wasn't really a La Liga team, but... I'm in Div 5, so the players I play against aren't too amazing. But then again, neither am I. Ooh, buddy, eh? Oh my god. Not amazing, he said. Decent. Shame I have uh, no competence when it comes to uh, defending, but not bad though. Obviously, what we did right there was we just sent the run, did a skill move to distract him. He got distracted by the skill move, and then um, managed to get it off. Oh, beautiful. And right there, what we did, we did a McGeady skin cancel. The guy threw in a tackle. I do love the McGeady skin cancel. You'll see right there, it kind of threw my opponent a little bit. And then we managed to get the through by. I, I say I love the McGeady skin cancel. It's so good. Thing with a three-star skiller. This is always a nice combo as well. You'll see you can send your opponent on skates normally. There you go. McGeady skin cancel again. Decent turn and not bad with that. I do like that one as well. The backwards flick is a, uh, the backwards flick is always a nice one to get people off your back. It's a bit inconsistent because last time your backwards flick into them, but I was in that situation it worked quite well. Now we actually bring out McGeady spin and obviously don't hit the ball quite hard enough there. It's not gonna work. It's got that pass into the middle. Got a little bit lucky there. Driven pass through ball. Let's see if we can get that through ball off. Way offside. Would have been nice, but we were heavily offside anyway. One year older than me. I'm only one year older than Wilfred Ndidi. And there we go. Send the player. Always send them with that. Through ball, but I'm not sure I didn't get it quite in time enough. But you see right there, again, the, the ball roll outside uh, flick. The flicks. No one uses right stick flicks. Right stick flicks are dirty. Oh, we didn't get the Guedes goal. Don't back out. Oh, for God's sake. What's the skill? But yeah, right stick flicks are so good. And no one uses them. No one uses right stick flicks. And they're so goddamn nice. Especially if you get the right... Oh, Guedes was... Oh, uh, brilliant. That was Guedes. Oh, that goal was the Guedes goal. We back down the third goal. Yeah, we did get Guedes goal. Thank you. So we've gone and uh, got a season pass thing, and we've also gone and completed yet another bit of the uh, Suarez. We've got the girls, all we need to do now is play three more games and get, well, score with a La Liga player in three games and get uh, a finesse shot. It's really weird, it shows you how much I finesse. In about ten games I scored one finesse shot, and that's just, you know, my natural play style, I guess. But there we go, got a bunch of stuff to go and do. Let's go and do them then. Although we've got something here. Vela. All right, we'll get rid of him. Uh, maybe there'll be an SVC and we'll be able to get him back. So, 75 rated. We already got a informed Kushito out of one of these. So, let's go and see what we're going to get today, then. Right, let's go and see what we're going to get. It's not going to be anything interesting. It's just going to be a gold. But there's still good golds that are taken. It'll upgrade the team. Cam Scottish is Christy. Mm. 75 rated plus gold, indeed. I mean, he's double four, isn't he, Christy? I don't know. He's three star, four star. It's the other one that's, uh, for, uh, you know, that's better. I guess 7.5k pack. Let's go and see what we can get. Still obviously could be something good in it. We've had a good day for packs, I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, I was saying. C saying that's gonna fit greatly into my Greek team. Uh, Liga and centre back, MLS striker, uh, Liga. Oh wait, it's uh, La Liga centre mid. Uh, Engine Kemsal, that might be uh, good actually. Maybe throw Engine Kemsal on uh, Wilfred and Diddy. That might not be too bad. Let's go and see what we're gonna get in the. Uh, well, 
basically a 25k pack at this point. It's three rare golds. I don't think that's going to be a board. Maybe it is. No, it's just going to be a gold rare. It's going to be Sung Yichu, who we already have. Uh, so, is there anything in there with Sung Yichu? Tammy Abraham scored a hat trick today. Uh, yeah, nothing really of interest. I mean, it's Serie A midfielder, though. We've, we've already got Tonali, who does a good enough job. I mean, Tonali does a good, better job than this guy in give or take every single position so, or every stat. But, uh, yeah, no, nothing much. But I guess that's another English striker. Uh, that'll maybe help us. But, yeah, not really my sort of player, to put it politely, Tammy Abraham. But, so we've gone and played our last game. I think we took the loads, you know, heavy loss, but it doesn't matter because we were just faffing around, really. Um, but there we go, that should be our last game and our last part of completing the Suarez, which I'm very excited for, because, uh, yeah, it'll be a, uh, new cabinet. Have I, have I not? Yeah, we have. <whistles> Lovely. I was a little bit worried right there, I did all that for nothing. So we got live foot friendlies. Lovely, are we gonna get a nice pack for that? No, I should get some XP. Just what I wanted. Uh, stadium development. Lovely, it's just gonna give us some stadium trophy rubbish. But the main thing, the main man we're interested in, the almighty Louis Suarez. Beautiful. Very happy about that. Oh, get an electron pack. We also get ourselves Louis Suarez, which again, I'm very, very excited for. He is going to be our new uh, cam. In fact, I'll probably go and play a game uh, to end the uh, day off with him. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to use the Dybala squad because we don't have Dybala yet. But um, yeah, there we go. I, I'm really interested how he is, to be honest. Uh... He looks like he should be a good player. Really good dribbling, really good shooting. Obviously, his pace doesn't make him uh, an overly OP uh, striker as such, but let's get rid of that right there, and uh, let's have a little look what we've got for packs. Sold on loads and loads of players. Um, there you go, Kanate, a bunch more silvers. Happy days. Uh, only got 107k, but obviously we'll get a few more coins tomorrow uh, when we're doing a bit of trading, and then obviously we'll go and do the uh, Scooby-Doo. What are we going to do? We're going to do the Dybala SBC, that's what we're going to do. So, let's go and see if we're going to get an election pack. Remember, we still need uh, our Silver Star squad. Still needs improving. Uh, so, if we can get some, you know, whatever. Monorail is irrelevant. We don't really care. What we are looking for mainly, Johnny doesn't really do anything, but I guess it's nice. I'm just thinking about links here. Mexican League doesn't do anything. Colombia. MLS. I've got that really fast left back. What are we looking at here then? We're looking at left back, left mid, a few more Japanese guys. I don't think there's anything too good for me. I mean, what leagues are you guys in? English third league, English second league. Yeah, I don't think they're doing too much for uh, for us right there. Let's have a go and open that goal pack. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, go and build a little squad and throw some warriors in and have a little bit of fun. What's this? 5k pack. Here we go. Golden on rare. Phillips. Actually quite useful for the league SBC. In terms of a player to be using our team, nothing really. Aaron, nothing. MLS player. Uh, very slow though. CDM and centimeter, I'm sure that's probably not looking too bad. Phillips, yeah, we're going to get discarded. It doesn't do anything for us. But yeah, let's go build a little school with Suarez. In. So we're just going to have a little play around with Suarez for a game. We're only going to play him on, what, 6 chem? Actually, I might have a little league and manager. Uh, might as well get the chemistry on him than the Prem players, just because, uh, you know, he's the player we want to try out right now. We're going to jump to a Div rival game with him as well. There we go. My boy Sergio. Uh, Son is, Son's chemistry is going to be a bit ropey, and we're going to go into a 4 1 2 2 with Higuain and Son up front, uh, Suarez and Cam. And then obviously CDM, and then we'll bring on probably KDB for the likes of uh, Jimenez. But there you go. There's a team we're just going to go have a little bit of a run around and just see how they uh, see how they play. Obviously using some players in more of a competitive environment than um, than the uh, what's it called online friendlies we've been playing. Here we